In today's video, I want to highlight one of the best sportsmanship plays for Magic the Gathering that was caught live on camera. It features Paul Rietzel, a member of the Magic the Gathering Hall of Fame since 2014, and this took place at Pro Tour Rivals of Ixalan in 2018. So it's a high stakes event, a lot on the line, and Paul has some very good sportsmanship here that I think is easy to miss, and I just wanted to highlight it so we could all appreciate it and show everyone this clip so it can get a little bit more exposure. So what is happening in this game? Paul is playing a blue-red combo deck, and he is against a, a Jund Death's Shadow deck. But the matchup itself is isn't that important. What is important is that Paul just cast the card Vendillion Click, and coverage itself is highlighting what the card does. One blue blue for a 3-1 legendary creature, Fairy Wizard with Flash, Flying, and importantly, when it comes into play, look at target player's hand. You may choose an online card from it. If you do, that player reveals the chosen card, puts it on the bottom of his or her library, then draws a card. Now, the important thing you need to know about Vendillion Click is that in almost every case, it is used to target your opponent. It is a cool disruptive element for a blue deck to have access to when they don't normally get to mess with the opponent's hand. And so most of the time, they're targeting their opponent with the spell. In the overwhelming majority of cases, they are targeting their opponent with the spell. However, in this case, Paul has deduced that his opponent doesn't have any Anything worth taking and so he wants to target himself his opponent however isn't aware of that so his opponent reads Vendillion click is trying to decide if he's going to try and cast something in response or even just want to think about it a little bit longer and then right as he goes to show his hand to Paul Rietzel you'll see what happens he gets right ready to show him, and Paul just very in like it's like instinctual just reaches out and says no 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 I don't want you to do that and it's really hard to understate how easy it is to get just lost and just accidentally let your opponent reveal their hand there he could be just thinking about something else he could be reading his own cards he could just be like in some cases you're a player that is trying to work your way around the rule not around the rules it's not technically cheating if your opponent shows their hand because he hasn't actually declared targets for it because he has to wait for the vendillion click to resolve in order for it to declare targets so it is actually fully within the rules for him to let his opponent show him his hand there's nothing stopping his, his opponent from doing that but Paul doesn't want to play that way, and it's really actually quite nice to see that even at a Pro Tour level event where they're both 6-1, and one, they're both potentially vying for a high finish in the tournament with big money on the line, he still wants to play the game the right way, still wants to do everything uh, right and things like that. So he, like, he very quickly checks in with his opponent to see that his results. He indicates that he's targeting himself, uh, just in case there um, is any confusion whatsoever, and then he targets himself, and it resolves. And it's, it's just a very great play to see it's a really good example of how everyone should conduct themselves i think at the table and uh really just wanted to give kudos to paul rietzel for making such a um stand-up play and just overall being a good representation of magic the gathering in the world because as a hall of famer he is kind of a role model for what you what like magic is about and i just wanted to highlight this play so everyone could kind of see it and this is one of the reasons why i'm a big paul rietzel fan and i hopefully you are as well we're going to watch it back one more time with the actual commentary because the commentators themselves were very happy with it a battle rage plan is not one you want to pair with a lot of reactive cards they're it's just talking about the matchup at your most right reactive rate. this is vendillion click now for mm -hmm. paul rietzel uh, so Lim was going to be probably excited to finally find a target for some of this removal, but again, this seems yeah. to just... Uh... Oh, is this resolved? <laughs> Look at the way he says it. Oh, it doesn't resolve. You can hear Paul Rietzel talking. Okay. <laughs> talking myself. Yeah. Paul is, is just very funny. I love Paul Rietzel. He Thanks. gets rid of Blood Moon, which isn't like super relevant, but just that in case you were curious. I'm pretty sure that was Blood Moon. So, the, Paul is another player who is extremely cognizant of the rules good. and the procedure. <laughs> also very savage when he says, you don't seem to have anything good. It's, it's kind of glossed over by coverage, but I, I didn't quite hear what his opponent says, but Paul's like, you don't seem to have anything good. Why would I target you? <laughs> Which is just funny. On tap, okay? And that, and was, yeah, that was also be... like very communicative. He did not want Lim to show him his hand exactly. before Paul decided if Vendillion Click was going to target Lim or himself. But and he's like, whoa, don't do it. <laughs> It'll ruin the game. We both know players that would have, uh, would have um, you know, taken a peek and then... Yeah, so the commentators in the booth, Marshall Sudcliffe and Simon Gertzen, do a really good job of explaining why this play is really cool. Hopefully, I illuminated it a bit for you as well. 
And really, I just wanted to show off one of the plays that I found the most admirable at a Pro Tour. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave hashtag sportsmanship in the comment section down below. And let me know if there's any other clips you'd like me to break down in the future. That's going to do it for this one, though. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time.